A school bus packed with young children and on its way to school swerved off the road and tipped over this morning. The accident sent 15 Dana Elementary School students to the hospital. All but one have been released tonight. News 13's Ashley Searles is streaming live at Mission Hospital. Ashley, the little girl has internal injuries. That's right. Doctors here at Mission Hospital are keeping Callie Biberos overnight for observation. The six-year-old first grader told her mom that she was asleep on the bus in her seat this morning when it rolled. It's got a call for a school bus accident with injuries. It was about 7.30 a.m. The bus had picked up the last child and was headed to school with 33 kids inside when it veered off the road and tipped over. I had some bystanders that were assisting some children out of the back of the bus. The bus was on its side in a ditch. The school's principal showed up on scene. The 61-year-old driver was charged with failure to stay in his lane. Henderson County School District says it's still unclear what exactly happened, but... It's an elementary school bus, so, you know, obviously the kids are going to be pretty scared. Fifteen Dana Elementary kindergarten through fifth graders were injured and taken to the hospital. Fourteen have now been released, and so that leaves just Callie Bibelos tonight. Everybody said minor injuries, and that's what I was told when I was walking in. And to see my daughter in a neck brace and to be strapped down on a you know, a board, and now this. The first grader was transported from Park Ridge to Mission Hospital today with internal injuries, a bruise on her liver, a possible concussion. It's not minor. I didn't, she didn't get to go home. Everybody else got to go home. The six-year-old was asleep and told her mom she woke up as the bus was rolling. If she wasn't smart enough, you know, to grab a, a floor handle, and so she wouldn't hit her head, what would have happened then? Callie's mom says the kindergartner sitting next to her daughter has a broken arm and that Callie's not riding the bus to school anymore. I'm mad because I feel like it could have possibly been prevented if there was a bus monitor maybe to monitor the kids and tell them to sit down. Now, tonight, this wreck is still very much under investigation. The Highway Patrol is taking a look at it right now. From there, they'll pass their paperwork on to Henderson County School District, and they'll launch an investigation of their own. But in the meantime, that driver has been taken off the road until further notice. Reporting live here tonight at Mission Hospital, I'm Ashley Searles, News 13.